what would you what would you like to say about what protein is? For sure. So Protein MB is the facilitation team that's been put in place to mobilize industry to implement the key actions of the strategic areas of Manitoba's protein advantage strategy to empower industry growth. So the vision of Protein MB is that Manitoba proudly leads Canada and the world as an innovative model for high value sustainable protein that nurtures and benefits all people, the local environment and the climate. So Protein MB, we're an initiative of Canadian manufacturers and exporters and we're funded through the Sustainable Canadian Agricultural Partnership. And so essentially we've been established here to be a voice and hub for, for protein in Manitoba, which includes working with our associates to make issues and opportunities visible on behalf of the sector and then also mobilizing the industry to facilitate action to address common issues and opportunities. Hmm. You're funded through the SSCAP, like the, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a, that's a, that's a five-year funding cycle. Yes, yeah. with the goal of becoming self-sustaining by the end of the project. Was Protein Manitoba conceived to fill a gap? So Protein MB is the evolution of the former Project Aspire. So Project Aspire is essentially the implementation plan for Manitoba Sustainable Protein. And, and that initiative was to bring the industry together so that the industry is working together to collaboratively address the sustainability opportunity for the protein sector in Manitoba in order to position Manitoba as a global leader in sustainable protein. How do you see Protein Manitoba benefiting Manitoba Pulse and soybean farmers? So Protein MB amplifies the sector through our marketing initiatives and communications platforms, including our website, social media cha channels, our events, and our e-news. And so that includes providing information about Manitoba's pulse and soybean farmers, and as we roll out our model, we're uniquely positioned to navigate farmers through the protein ecosystem. And so we provide knowledge translation and connect industry with resources that they need to grow. Um, protein MB facilitates collaboration of the value chain and the sector through our engagement opportunities. And so that's really to identify and address common issues and opportunities. And so Manage Protein MB will be launching sustainable protein consortiums for farmers this spring. And we encourage Manitoba's pulse and soybean farmers to get involved with those consortiums. Oh. What is a consortium? And speak to kind of yeah, why you feel they 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 not they should, they but may, may sure want to engage. engage. So a consortium is essentially a group of companies that meet regularly to, to discuss problems, to share best practice, and to hold each other accountable when it comes to, you know, their continuous improvement when it comes to sustainability. And so that really is an opportunity to have, you know, a network of peers to, to connect with and to kind of learn from one another. So as I mentioned, we're, we're launching two sustainable protein consortiums this April. One will be for producers and the other for, pro for, for food processors. And then depending on interest, we'll be rolling out additional opportunities for consortiums. Um, so you can contact or producers can contact Protein MB for, for more details about you know, consortiums and how it could benefit them as producers and, and how to get involved. So groups be involved in that as well? Mm -hmm. So at this time, we're really focusing on businesses for the consortiums, but there's a number of other opportunities for associations to get involved, like you know Pulse Canada, um, Antipa Pulse and Soybean Growers Association. We've developed a new partnership model, and this partnership model essentially outlines you know how these groups and individuals can work with Protein MB and collaborate with us to advance shared sustainability goals. And so included in that is the consortiums. And then the, we also have roundtables. And so roundtables are formed on a specific strategic area of the, the protein strategy or you know, an, a common issue where there's a need to get you know, a number of groups engaged 
to share information, to kind of break down silos, to encourage collaboration. These round tables will meet quarterly. And then when there's a need that may be established, you know, during a consortium meeting or during a roundtable meeting where, you know, there's a project where there's interest in, you know, a number of groups of getting, getting engaged in that project, then that's when a working group will form and Protein MB will be, you know, facilitating those engagement forums. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity to get involved. Working together is really kind of at the core of what we do at Protein MB. And we collaborate you know, with the full value chain for all proteins, including industry and farm organizations. So is increasing trade and markets of Manitoba products a priority for Protein Manitoba? So it is a priority for Protein MB, but we're currently in phase one of our strategic marketing plan. And phase one is really focused on our industry here in Manitoba and mobilizing our industry and, you know, getting them excited to be part of the, the great work that we're going to do together as part of Protein MB. And so phase two of our strategy involves marketing initiatives to increase trade and, and access to global markets. So we're excited to, to kind of, you know, move, move move forward with our industry and and you know look at, at opportunities kind of as as we roll this out into year two and three of the initiative yeah can you speak to any of those like those kind of marketing and communications campaigns or is it too too early to kind of right now because we're we're a new initiative you know we, we've been working on establishing kind of our communications platforms we have one of the strategic areas is branding marketing and communications so you know we've been focused on developing the brand for Protein MB, developing our brand strategy, our marketing plan. We've developed our website. We have a new e-newsletter that I would encourage everybody to sign up to receive to just, you know, keep in touch with Protein MB and stay on top of news in the protein sector. But, you know, as we advance, we'll be looking at opportunities for collaborative marketing, you know, under that branding, marketing, communication, strategic area. So that's something that we look forward to in the future. But just kind of in terms of where we're at right now, Protein MB, we officially launched in November of 2023. And so we've really been focusing on developing our team here and our model and our network so that we can mobilize industry around the protein sectors biggest opportunities and challenges for growth. Uh, we've developed a governance structure for Protein MB and we're really excited to be holding our first sustainable protein board meeting in March. And then we're excited to be announced or to be hosting a protein partnership forum on April 19th. And so that partnership forum is essentially open to anybody who wants to get involved with the implementation of the protein strategy. And so during this event, we'll be bringing industry together to kind of delve deeper into Protein MB's partnership model. We'll share different participation opportunities and facilitate discussions around priorities. And then we'll begin to establish, you know, some roundtables, the, the consortiums that I spoke of earlier, and working groups so that we can collaboratively implement key actions of the strategy. How can someone get in touch with Protein Manitoba? Yeah, that, I guess that that's a good that's a good question on its own, and just just some whatever you want to add in terms of a takeaway for say you know a Manitoba farmer who doesn't necessarily know much about protein MB. So in terms of how to get involved, in terms of staying in touch with protein MB and kind of what we're up to, follow us on LinkedIn and on Twitter. Sign up for our e-news. You can visit our website at proteinmb.ca and there's a submission form there to, to sign up. If, you know, if a producer is interested in, it, in attending our partnership forum, you know, it's open to anybody that's interested in participating. We're holding it here at the Canadian Manufacturers and Exporters Office in Winnipeg on April 19th. Um, and then in terms of contacting us, we do have an info at proteinmb.ca. So, you know, any questions can be sent to us. And I guess as a, as a takeaway, you know, Protein MB is an initiative that was built by industry. There was a lot of industry engagement that went into developing the implementation plan for Manitoba's protein advantage strategy. 
And you know, we've been developed by industry and we're here for industry. So it really is an opportunity for producers to to contact us and to, you know, if they're if they're if there's a challenge that they're facing or they see an opportunity or they need they want to connect, you know, to a network or looking for resources, you know, we're we're a really good contact for producers. So that's that's kind of a key key takeaway to keep in mind is that, you know, we've been created by industry and and we're here really to support our industry and empower industry growth. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a powerful yeah, that's, that's a powerful takeaway for sure. Yeah, very. So a bit of like a, a bit of like a resource hub then for 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 individual farmers but then also anybody kind of small small private business looking to get into the the protein the protein world, the protein marketplace. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Would you add web of like that that plan that can be is that something that's public? Do you share that? Absolutely. Yes. So there's we we have a link to it on our website. And that's really, you know, we're we're mandated through our funding agreement to to work with to mobilize industry to implement the various actions in those strategic areas. And so there are there are ten strategic areas. But really, we do have some flexibility in terms of kind of going where there's energy in terms of kind of where to go first. There's a workforce strategic area. You know, we do have a workforce roundtable. There's been a number of workforce projects that have have taken place and that we've been working on. There's a measuring, monitoring and verification, sustainable protein, the industry, policy and infrastructure, innovation, research and knowledge acquisition. There's soil ecosystems and biodiversity, branding, marketing, communication. I don't know if I've hit all of them there, but essentially, uh, you know, the full implementation plan is available on our website. And we do, you know, share what those strategic areas are in our communications and in our partnership model as well. And of course, you know, anyone can contact us to have a deeper discussion about what's included there on that. We also have a new graphic that is kind of, it, it describes the partnership model that I've just shared. And it shares, you know, Protein and B's role, then we have the strategic areas, we have our associates, which is essentially anybody who's interested in getting involved with the strategy, and then kind of moving into the working together space. Mm-hmm. We have the different areas of how, or the engagement forums that we've created to work together, which is the round tables, the working groups, the consortiums, and then we have our board. So it's a nice visual.